Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for stopping to watch this video. If you are one of my returning subscribers, my sugar cubes, even my new subscribers, hi guys, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping to like this video. Also, to watch this video. Like this video too while you're here. <laughs> it's going to be another reaction video. I took my hair out of my head wrap. This is um, going to be Tie-Dyes versus B-Boy Jr. Exhibition 2017. Um, I first got exposed to B-Boy Jr. in a Muzi TV uh, video when dancers turned Super, Sa Super Saiyan. And um, B-Boy Jr. was like legit. So I like Tie-Dyes. I like Tie-Dyes a lot. So let's just see, you know, what's going on in this video. And Tie-Dyes is a crumper if you guys don't know. Crump. We got crump and breaking. I, I love it. <laughs> and you see he's not like I wanna say the typical dancer build. Um he's not super super skinny, like he has some meat on his bones, you know what I mean? He's kinda he's kinda built too, I notice that. and Tommy the Clown will always have like a special place in my heart like how many people can actually say like I remember when this when this happened like I remember when Crump I don't want to say first started but like got recognized from what I saw like I remember Tommy the Clown and I remember Lil C and I remember Side Eyes like it's it's so it's so cool to see how far it's come all right personal space All up in the personal space. Okay, tie dyes. He's being extra, extra spicy right now. I guess he wants B Boy Jr. to go first. All dancers, and most dancers I see are kind of slim. They're not tall, all right, fine, but they're kind of slim. Okay. Um, real quick, I wanted to ask, like, when it comes to break dancing, does the gloves that like B Boy Junior have on does that help? Like, I just was curious. I see some people um do wear gloves rather when they're dancing i just wanted to know if it helped them like with grip like the same way people wear gloves to exercise it's just something curious so comment down below if you you know you want to <laughs> you want to help me out <laughs> do you see it he's not touching the ground he's like blanking i love it i love it i love it I love this. Do you see what I mean? Like he's, he's not he's like a stocky guy, but he's like controlling his body so good. I love it. I love it. He's like, come on guys, come on guys. Alright, tie dyes. Tie dyes came out super, super spicy. I don't wanna say salty, but he was definitely spicy. When I see Tie Dyes dance, it's it's so interesting to see him dance versus when he speaks. Like when he dances, he's very serious. <laughs> when he's speaking, he's just like I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys know what I'm talking about. He's so serious. It's like the mood of the song. Hold on, he took off one hat to put on another hat. I'm not gonna lie, like let me just close real quick. I'm not gonna lie, like um crumping was one of the dancing dance styles 
that was hard for me to kind of get into because I didn't understand it at first. But like once you understand like certain things about it and you you go to like it. So like at first like I didn't really understand how or why you know people were hollering at certain points because like going back to what I say about musicality is like musicality is being able to convey the music through your body 100% all the music the the obvious points the subtle notes of the song the high notes of the song the lyrics you know what I mean so like watch pay attention to how tight eyes dance and the beat of course he's so serious I'm not even mad at him and so tense, like I always thought crumping was so tense, like your body has to be so tense all over the crumb. And it's all about control too. I love, I love the crowd, I love the crowd, they're so hype, I love it. Ooh! Dance! Dance! Hey! Hey! I keep forgetting tight eyes is bald. Ah, ha, 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 he caught it. He caught it. He caught it. Most of the time when dancers um, do like hat catching moves, they don't catch their hat like like that. But I'm just saying. <laughs> hey! I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That was nice, that was nice, that was nice. Hey! <laughs> he caught it. I love it. That is a serious thing, James. It's like, I'm not even gonna lie, like... I like how serious he is. I like how serious he is. Hey! Hey! Aww, he beheaded him. He beheaded him. <laughs> say when I first started watching like Crump and got into like tie dyes in general I um I didn't understand why he was so serious <laughs> I did not understand why he was so serious at all but like once you get to like it's the same thing with anything once you see someone more you understand them so I understand like why he's so serious but like first view I was like oh it was, it was kind of intimidating like why is he so serious like like, not to say you're supposed to joke or anything, but there are different, like, type of atmospheres in battle. You know, I feel like battle goes through different stages, like the serious battle, uh, the serious part, rather, the offended part, you know what I mean? The comeback. But, I don't know. Comment down below what you guys think. Say, I'm not playing with you. He is so... <laughs> yeah, this is like a real, real battle environment. Here he returns some of the sassiness. Oh, this, this is the part that um, Muzi um, took from the video because he really went in here. Do you see that? Do you see how? Yo, like, all right, aside the fact his arms are being nice and cut, okay, but he. Woo, I'm not mad at it. I am not mad at it at all. Do you see that? Like on one arm? Like that's why I really appreciate Boo Boy, B Boy Jr. Like. Woo! He's mad effortless with it too. Like he's returning the same energy, you know what I mean? He did that. He did 
that. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. Like going into this, I um I kinda am for B Wood Jr. a little bit. But like I said, I'm I'm watching this with you guys. So we might uh we might change our mind. I might change my mind. I'm just curious though, I have to do some research if uh, Ty Dyes and B-Boy Jr. has some type of beef because like, granted I know Ty Dyes is serious, but like, he's extra serious in this battle. He's a LOL. <laughs> Damn. Hey, he is not. He's not playing. He was true. He said, "I'm not playing with you." He is definitely not playing. He's not playing at all, though. Look at the footwork. He said, "You gotta listen. You gotta listen." The only thing I don't like about like certain battles like so far what I'm seeing is like the downtime. Granted this is a 16 minute video, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying. Oh yo. Yeah. Um, total sidebar. Does B-Boy Jr. like walk like that all the time? I haven't seen him walk like this in the two videos I've seen him dance to and like react and I reacted to or whatever. I wonder if something was wrong with his leg. Hmm. It's my song too. Hey, hey, hey. He hasn't touched the ground yet. Do you see that? He hasn't touched the ground yet. He's like, yeah. Not that. I love it. And I love like he he got on tie dye's level, <laughs> and he's all up in his face. Like I love it. This is like the I love him battle show like the battle mode. That's it. That's it. These rounds are short. I don't know if this is like a round like the rounds or. Tell like he's about to kill it. Do dancers rely on moves with their hats? You know what I mean? Or just added a flair? Because like, I, f I know Ty Dice will still be able to perform amazing without his hat, but it just makes me wonder, like, you know. Hey! But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, I'm still not, I'm not gonna lie, like, crumping is still something I'm, I don't 100% understand. And I'll admit that, but I like watching it. I, I like watching it. I find it very fascinating, and I'm learning every day. So I might be uh, for B Boy Jr. a little bit more because I'm used to um, break dancing, watching break dancing. Like I have to watch more crump battles and, like you know, become more alert <laughs> in crump. But. Oh, they doing all these songs. Like, I know these songs. Look at him coming for him. Oh, look at this. I am not mad. I love how he does. Like, he really balances his whole body on one arm. Like, I mean, that could be another reason why. Wow. <laughs> why his arms are like super cut. No, I, I notice things like that. I'm just saying. Under eye, no 
creases. Yeah, I'm like kind of over hats during battle. Like, just in general. Not with this battle, but this battle reminds me like... to be boy junior because like I watch a lot of break dance so it's easier for me to understand rather than crunch but I like b boy juniors dancing in general like he has fun with it he murders like he murders like I love his balance I love his balance I love his balance like that's why I'm so fascinated by like that he's he's built but he can do all this stuff See, like, the, these, these down parts of the battle, like, are, are kind of, kind of getting me a little mad because, like, I want, I want to see dancing. I know it builds up, but, like, I want to dance. Someone, like, I want to see dancing, you know what I mean? I'm getting a little impatient. Probably because I'm hungry, too. I'm not going to lie. Let me, let me be fair. I am hungry. What am I not? phrase it like that, um, that Tide Eyes has in this battle. I'll say that. And I'm the type of person, I don't like, I don't deal with arrogance very well, like I don't really hang around with arrogant people. I feel like the same reasons you have to be arrogant, be grateful. But I understand a certain level of arrogance is like appropriate during battle, so I don't want you guys to misconstrue what I'm saying. It intimidates the opponent, it adds to the aesthetics of the battle, you know what I mean? It adds to the whole battle vibe and atmosphere. So like Tide Eyes hits hits these beats and I, I like him as a dancer, but like I'm just I'm just not feeling the the level of arrogance in this battle in particular. Hey, hey, hey. Like I said, I, I 
and I'm kind of over the hat thing too. I know it says I do, I does oh take skill, but hmm. Hey, hey, and not to be like um another thing I have to research more within front is that some of the moves can be repetitive, and I understand it's how you hit them and musicality and stuff, but like. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very much over the head. <laughs> okay. of that video um like i said comment down below what your guys's thoughts on this is like i understand like people junior said he he respects the fact he's in a crump event you know what i mean he's at a crump event and like you know like he said it's true like they're both allowed to touch like people is allowed to touch crump allowed to touch but one thing i have to investigate more <laughs> um is the touching aspect in crump i've i don't know Comment down below what you guys think. I think this is a good video for me to react to because it definitely opens up the um, door for a conversation in the comment section down below. Um, like I said, I am not claiming to be like a master knower of all things crump. Like I'm still learning um, every day. But comment down below what you guys think. Comment down below on um, the, the arrogance factor. I think I want to hear you guys' thoughts on the hat. The hat. Things, and not just all um, in this video in particular, uh, just hat things in general. Like, do you feel like dancers need to incorporate their hats into their routines and stuff like that? So I want to hear you guys' thoughts. You're also welcome to uh, leave video requests. Notice I said requests and not commands <laughs> in the comment section down below. Please attach a video link. I will not be reacting to any videos that do not have a video link, okay? Um, make sure to like this video. Like this video. It helps me also figure out what videos you guys like me reacting to so I can react to more of the same type. Subscribe to be a part of the fam and I will see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.